What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, like on it and like Jesus. If you're new here, like, comment, and subscribe. Do those three things, you automatically enter yourself into a giveaway. I explained them to the first link down below and you make me very, very happy. Last video, we went to the drags. There was a problem. Uh, I have a big boost leak. I don't know where it's coming from. I'll diagnose that and figure that out in a future video, so stay tuned for that. But for today, we're doing a completely custom uh, windshield banner super super DIY cost friendly and literally all you're gonna be needing to do this job is the following you're gonna need your wrap so I decided to go with a mat uh, in the back like the background and like I, I haven't decided if, if I want to do uh, satin letters or gloss black letters some glue you're gonna need scissors an exacto you're gonna need uh, alcohol and water mix and a microfiber towel both those to clean you're gonna need a felt squeegee and some other miscellaneous tools it's a kit I'm gonna be linking down below for you guys to buy it you're gonna need some knifeless tape as well you're also gonna need a heat gun maybe some some tape and an extension cord and everything I'm gonna be linking it down below so you guys have it all really easily at your disposal and in here are the actual letters and everything I cut them up it's gonna say 19 at the very top so uh, the font I'm using is a six is this is 650 and it's all in small caps and it's a Futura bold in italics so that's what I'm gonna be using today right for there before starting anything at all uh, you have to notice that this little sign here on your windshield is the maximum point at which you could put something on the windshield. So I have this much room to work with all across. Uh, right up until that top line right there. So that's what I got to work with. So let's start off simply by cleaning this off and uh, just figuring out what wrap I wanna put. Now that everything's clean, it's time to put my knifeless tape. So I'm gonna be putting it from the very bottom of where that line showed me all the way across so that when I put the vinyl on top of it, I could just pull up and it just cuts everything very nicely. I first measured it up, uh, then I went with some tape and I marked where at which point was, in my case, 11 centimeters from the top of that line to the, the bottom of the uh, rubber for me. So from here to here, and it was 11 centimeters all across. I tried to make that as clean as possible. It's a little tricky working with the knifeless tape, but it works. Now that that's done, I'm gonna wipe it down one more time and then I'm gonna put my base, which is my mat in the background. Let's lay that down and work from there. So I think the most tedious part is done at this point. So um, we put the knifeless tape, it cut 
nicely. It was my first time using it, so you know I'm a bit of a novice, but whatever. It's all cut there. Everything is even. It's all at 11 centimeters all across. Right up there, right up there. Can you see it? There's like a little shiny spot in the mat. There, I had to stretch the material because, well, I, I kind of did a curve in in the way I put it down instead of like just a straight line because that would have looked. I, I, I thought that would have looked stupid. So I did it like a curve, and because I did a curve, well, I didn't really, the wrap didn't like that. All my lines, all my edges are good. Everything is nice. Now, let's move on to the lettering. And for the lettering, as I mentioned earlier, I printed and then I cut out all these letters to spell out 19. What I'm gonna do is the face of them, I'm gonna glue onto the back of the vinyl that I'm gonna be using for the letters. Uh, glue them, then cut those out, then, peel that off and then go ahead and stick it on the, the window. These letters might be a little bit big so I'm gonna have to cut off the bottom but this is a DIY channel, we're gonna, we're gonna figure it out. Okay, so basically at this point, I'm gonna have to choose between gloss black for the letters or a satin black. So tell, tell me what the difference is between this and this. Like, why did I buy this? I guess I bought the satin so I'm gonna just use the satin. But I had the gloss already because I wrap chrome pieces for people in Montreal. If you're interested, let me know on Instagram. Um, but I guess I'm just going to go with the other one because... Whatever. Whatever. Okay, so that took way longer than I thought it would, but tracing everything out and cutting everything out, all the letters took its time. They're not perfect, but with the heat afterwards, they're gonna go around the edges and uh, it's going to eliminate some of that, like the glue that sticks out and it looks uneven and fuzzy a bit around the edges. But anyways, that's later on. Right now, I'm going to kind of line them up, tape them up with some tape to get in a general idea of where everything is gonna sit and because uh, I know these are actually a little bit too big I'll be cutting off the bottom pieces of this uh, just so that it fits nicely within the the mat you know border that I made so let's do that Okay, so at this point, the letters are there, everything is pretty much set up. Um, now I just gotta like peel it back and then I'm gonna use the, the green tape that I just applied as like a hinge. As I peel back the back and then I'm gonna slap it down there. Looks pretty even to me, I could be wrong. So yeah, I'm just gonna stick this all on and then go over everything with the heat gun and we should be done. god i really really like it for someone that eyeballed the shit out of this this looks so good i'm like freaking out i hey i gotta back up for this one Ooh, that's sick damn you flexing with the beam on you have the 19 on your fucking oh my god you bro dude yo that looks fucking tight dude dope Man, 
Wow, okay, so for those of you that don't know, the significance of 19, my last name sounds like it, and it's my lucky number, so having it as my little brand name there is definitely something. I, I like the cut off look of the E's, like they just kind of cut off and Damn, that looks sick, dude. So I got the 19 in the front to match the 19 in the rear. If you see me in the highway, hit me up. What's up? Yo, but damn, look how sick that is. I didn't think I was gonna like it this much, but I, I love this. This is crazy. This is so cool. This I've been envisioning this sort of brand name for myself for some time now, and it's, Oh my God, it's not even. <laughs> but this is cool. This is this is a step in the right direction for me. This is something I want. So this, is, this was just to give me an idea, I guess. I really love it. Wow. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. It's that easy to make your own custom with very limited tools windshield banner i do more stuff like this custom diy shit i do a lot of that stuff on my channel besides the fact that i'm tuning this car and f doing like a crazy build on it and uh personalizing it and i get to share that all with you guys so if you're interested subscribe to the channel because next video i hope i'm doing another really big aesthetic looking mod for the car and uh, eventually I'll figure out that boost leak so we could go back to the drags and hit that 12 second uh, quarter mile time. But anyways guys that's all I have for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed your time here on this channel. If you did smash that like button because damn it this looks sick and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Uh, remember guys as always to subscribe because I got plenty of stuff coming to the channel for you guys to watch and for you guys to enjoy on that bell notification so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to drive who drives you and I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Peace. I might sip out this bottle until it get hollow. Shit, I might sip out this bottle just drowning my sorrows. Drowning my sorrows be better tomorrow. Cause these broken dreams is as hard as it gets. My nigga died at only 25.